Hello everyone, I'm Jesmyn Zamet, the very proud principal of Gorican Public School, and I'm here with Mitchell Gibbs, our technology teacher. And this afternoon, we're hoping to unpack for you the Gorican Public School flexible learning space to assist you with supporting your child with learning at home. The first thing you'll see on the website is a very short video which sets the context of what this space is about and how you can best apply it. Excellent. Underneath the video, you'll find helpful links. The top four helpful links are programs which the school provides to help students learn at home, being Reading Eggs, Mathletics and Soundwaves. Soundwaves is a new program which the school provides. It's a spelling-based program. And each um, grade level password can be found in the English section for each grade. World Book Online is a history, geography and science-based interactive program which the password can be accessed in the grade level in the HSIE section. Further below these links, you'll find um, forms which can be used to interact with the school, uh, where students can upload work samples, request a work pack, contact the teacher, request any passwords they may require, uh, an absent note for parents to fill in, and a book appointment with teachers. So at the top of the menu bar, we're going to move across to the advice for distance learning. So in here, you'll find a timetable. This timetable reflects um, and aligns with our current timetable at school will help provide parents with a consistent routine for students as they um, undergo distance education if they're working from home. There's also some additional advice around learning at home and how to check on the well-being of your students. So the next section is the videos to help. We've created um, three videos at the moment, but we're hoping to add more on how students can access the student portal online, how they can log into their Google account at home, as well as how they can upload work samples. So Mr. Zamet's looking forward to seeing all the work at home from our students, and that will be forwarded on to the classroom teachers as it comes in. So we're gonna unpack the kindergarten area. So in the kindergarten area, you'll, you'll notice the key learning areas. So um, each grade level is set up in the same way. So we're just gonna go into the English section now. Mr. Zamet's going to unpack that. So those topic headings that you saw underneath kindergarten, English, mathematics, HSIE, Creative Arts, PDHPE, Science and Technology, they're the key learning areas that kids are learning from each day in school. And they're what's available for you to be working with your child on at home. Within each of those um, headings, you'll have some very useful information set out very um, clearly with a, a, a topic uh, heading as well as some bullet points. The aim of this is to give you lots of ideas for which to um, instruct your child. And the expectation is that you would do possibly one bullet point per day so that you're not overwhelmed with the, the amount of content that's contained within each one. In addition to what's on those pages, the programs that Mr Gibbs showed you on the uh, initial uh, four links um, the reading eggs, the mathletics, the sound waves, and the um, world book world online. Book online. Um, that's uh, those activities are outstanding on their own. So to link them with what's um, within each of these key headings will give your child a really uh, great uh, educational experience from home. And the great thing about those programs is that they're highly engaging, and the kids are really familiar with them. So they're not going to struggle with them. Um, when applying them at home. Excellent. The others, um, to access the other grade content, obviously you just need to come across to the more option, uh, click the down arrow for the grade that um, reflects the child's grade that you're in, and then you can access all those links and all that learning content in there. So um, as we said, this is an evolving space, we'll be updating it um, regularly and we wanna hear your feedback. So if you've got any ideas on how we can improve, please let us know. But um, thank you for watching our video this afternoon. And we're here to help. Thank you.